from the striking poise of those lovely models to the majestic grace of the loveliest of the bird family, the swan. Yet strangely enough, these regal creatures who make such a captivating study on lakes and rivers all over the country have been left defenseless by nature against common hazards like oil-polluted water. In one accident, when an oil barge has sunk in the Thames, as many as 500 birds have been affected. To find out what happens to these swans, we take you behind the scenes now at the PDSA's Ilford London Clinic, where they are cleaned up and convalesced before being returned to their natural homes. First stage is a thorough soaking in a detergent to lessen and remove some of the crude oil. The swans seem to realize they're in good hands and appear to cooperate with their benefactors, although a few precautions are taken in any case. The legs, for example, are bound to prevent the bird trying instinctively to paddle its way out of the bath. Besides removing the dirt and oil, the detergent also takes away the natural oil in the feathers, which means that the swans have to be kept at the clinic until this has been replaced. During the convalescent period, the birds are given a special diet, including cod liver oil. After their bath, the swans are rinsed in clear water. The final stage in the cleansing process is a bran bath to dry out the feathers. Although an angry swan can be quite dangerous, one blow from their powerful wings can fracture an arm or leg, it's seldom that the veterinary surgeon and his staff have any trouble from them, a tribute to their gentleness and understanding. In a short time, the swans will again be free to grace the countryside with their beauty, thanks to the untiring efforts of their friends at Ilford. <laughs>